first saw you on, on TV, of course, you mentioned the shows you mentioned, but uh, up in New York, uh, I was still up there living when you did the, the Capitals on Broadway show. I had a chance to talk to Freddie Roman last year when he was in. Now, that must have been kind of fun for you to do that show. Oh, that was a blast. You know, it's funny, I always work with, with men on the road. Right. I haven't worked with any women in my life. <laughs> Three men, uh, Freddie Roman, Dick Capri, and Mal Z. Long. Oh, yeah. Talk about funny. When you're on the road with, well, we did the, the show on Broadway for a year, and then we went on the road for a little over a year. Oh, my gosh, it was a hoot every single night. I mean, we're, I, I have to pinch myself. I've been very, very blessed to, to work with people who are not only the best in the business, but who are just so wonderful to just hang with. I had a chance to go backstage uh, after that show when they were down here and met Mal and, and Dick Capri and great guys and, and really a throwback to, to the way show business probably used to be more of back back in the day. They, they continue that, what you're doing with Tim and, and Chuck. There needs to be more of that, I think. Well, I think so, too. And, you know, you don't really see too many skit comedy shows in the theater. You know, you'll see musical acts and a lot of country western acts and you'll see, uh, you know, uh, uh, Broadway shows and but, you know, to see sketch comedy with the great Tim Conway is, is like I said, truly a piece of our history. And I just would advise anyone who can get a ticket, please come, because you're going to see one of the greats. And there will never be another Tim Conway. Without giving too much away, I mean, of course, you, the old Burnett show, the, the famous things that Tim would do, uh, he wouldn't do in rehearsal, and he'd do it on the live show, and that would break Harvey up, and occasionally would break Carol up, not too often. Uh, I guess he does some of that in the live show as well, doesn't he? <laughs> or tries we, never to. Know what, hey, we never know what he's going to pull, the, when he's going to pull the rabbit out of the hat. We never know. We do a sketch together uh, where he's in a prison, and he's about to go to the chair, and his dumber than a box of hair wife, he's hoping that she can help him break out. And so I have to sit opposite him and look at that face. And I have to tell you, it takes everything in me. I really have to focus because just to look at his face is so cute. You know, that yeah. cracks you up right there. So it's so fun sketches. And he wrote all these sketches, by the way. He oh, wrote really? them all. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, in your act, we mentioned uh, people know you as, as a great comedian and impressionist and singer. Did, are you always kind of looking for new voices to do, Louise? I guess that's, you sort of have to, don't you, to, to keep up to date, right? Well, you do, but, you know, here's what's so strange is that years ago, you had such great characters like the Betty Davises, you know, and, the, and of course, the Catherine Hepburn and all of that, you know. And, but today... I mean, what does Cameron Diaz sound like? Right. You know, what does Julia Roberts sound like? You know what I mean? They, they don't seem to have the character that the, the great actors of Days Gone By had. So, so I'm always looking and saying, well, who the heck do I do in my act? But you know what, what I've, I've started doing is, is more of uh, some of the old TV shows that people remember. They'll see, even the kids will see it at Nick and uh, at Night or some of the cartoon voices and I'll try to throw in whatever I can throw in, but, you know, I'm always looking for the new voices. Of course, you know, Hillary Clinton's out there, Sarah Palin, they're always good. So, you know, they're out there, but they're far and few between. And uh, I know in the video that uh, they had of the Catskills uh, on Broadway show, you, you did a tribute to, to George and Gracie. I think, you, didn't you do a show just dedicated to them at one point? Uh, I don't know if I read that right, but did, did you still do George and uh, Gracie uh, the piece? Yes, yes, and and George was one of the, the greatest. Um, my life was meeting George Burns, and I was actually uh, in Las Vegas, and and I always closed my act with George Burns and Gracie Allen. Yeah. And um, one night I was at Caesar's Palace, and there was a knock on my dressing room door, and it was George Burns's manager, Irving Fine. Of course, those George was still alive then, and he said, you know, he said, I love what you did with George. He said, but I especially love that you kept Gracie alive, and, and I, you know, would you like to meet George when you get back to Los Angeles? And, and I said, oh, my gosh, it'd be one of the greatest thrills of my life. Well, I did meet George, and he was so cute. When I, when I first walked into his office, he says, I hear you do me, kid. Let me hear you. How much time are doing George Burns? And then he stopped me, and he says, do Gracie for me. And I started, well, I started doing Gracie Allen for him. And he 
and you know, I started choking up because I thought, oh, this is so overwhelming. I'm doing the great George Burns, and I'm doing his beloved wife, Gracie, and it was so emotional, and, and he stopped me, and he said, they can't have a cigar. And he gave me one of his cigars, which was really good. So I always put them in the act. You know, even if people don't totally remember them, they may remember George from Oh God 1 and Oh God 2. But, but I think they like the, the sentimentality of, you know, this wonderful couple, classic couple in show business history. I think Gracie was maybe the greatest female, if you want to, who was a straight man, George was a straight man, but uh, the way she did her comedy, she thought she was the smart one. She, uh, I think George mentioned that one time. She wasn't dumb. She thought was smart. Everybody else was dumb. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's yeah. exactly right. She was such a lady. She was such a lady, you know, and it's, it's great to see comedians that, uh, you know, would remain ladies like that, and, and uh, she was just so classy. I loved her. Well, it's going to be a great uh, great night of comedy coming up at the Van Wazel here in Sarasota on the 5th of February. Again, if you missed that opportunity, you have a chance uh, the night before on the 4th in Fort Myers or uh, up in Clearwater, all uh, in our general area here, so I'm sure the folks will, will get out there, but uh, please do, because you, you very rarely you get a chance to see these kind of uh, performers live in person. It, it, unfortunately, it's becoming more of a rarity, don't you think? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Please come out and enjoy, and you know, in these days, these stumble times and days of uncertainty, one thing that helps all of us is a good belly laugh. It releases a lot of stress, and actually, they, there's proof that it, it adds years to your life. So, if you want to live a long life, come on down. I invite people to go to your website, Louise. Uh, great uh, little pieces of, of what uh, Louise's act. It's just louisedewart.com, right? Uh, yeah, louisedewart.com, but, but also I suggest they go to um, uh, the fan page of Godwin. G O D W I N K S and my husband and I have a this there's a little piece of me doing what I call the elevator piece and it's uh, twenty five celebrities get stuck in an elevator. <laughs> and it's on the on the fan page of Codlinks, which is my husband's uh, fan page. I look forward to talking to Squire one of these days, too. I'll, I'll talk to you, or send me an email on that. We'll, we'll do that, but that would be great. I'd love to have him on. Cause well, he's great, and his fan page he has, a, I think, about 60,000 fans right now and growing. They love the Godwin stories. They're, they're fun, and they're, they're so inspirational. And uh, like we said, you know, this is a time when we all need a little encouragement. Right. Louise DeWart, uh, great to talk to you again. Let's not make it uh, three years before we do it again. I'm sure we'll see you real soon, but uh, thanks for being with us today. Right, thank you so much. Keep that warm weather for me. Will we you? will. <laughs> thank you.